guys, what are we gonna talk about? We are going to talk about five pocket-friendly EDC knives. And we'll get into some of the things that I'm gonna describe what I, what I think of as a pocket-friendly EDC knife. But uh, before, before we get into that, you know what to do. If you're watching on headphones, turn down the volume because here comes a little bit of music. Mike here. Just wanted to throw it out there so that I, future Mike always forgets. If you haven't checked out the merch store, there's a lot of stuff in there. I got sweatshirts, I got t-shirts, I got coffee cups. There's a link in the description. If you want to support the channel, all the sales go to the merch store and providing the stuff, but then it also, I get a portion of the, of the take of it. So like I said, merch store, sweatshirts, t-shirts, coffee cups, they're all really nice. Now back to future Mike so he can tell you about a knife. Hi right, guys, what are pocket-friendly EDC knives? Well, we're gonna get into that in a second. First of all, this is Clickspring. Uh, this is a channel I watch a lot, in case you guys are interested. I'll put a, I will actually put the link to his channel uh, here. He's a watchmaker, does a lot of interesting content. Uh, it's just one of those things that I watch all the time. Uh, but before that, before that, before that even, we have to talk about a tragedy in the family. My favorite shirt has got to be relegated to the scrap pile and used for rags. I purchased this shirt on the first trip that my wife and I made to the United States after getting married. We've been married for 19, almost 20 years. And it has just reached a point where every time I put it on, I find a new hole. Uh, <laughs> I can actually, there's spots where you can just put your fingers through it. So this rag, that shirt is now a rag. So. Now, let's talk about what I think makes a knife EDC pocket friendly. So pocket friendly for me means that it doesn't take up too much real estate. It's comfortable in all kinds of pants. Uh, that means shorts, sweatpants, all those things that anything you would put a knife in the pocket of. Um, and the, the weight and everything, they just basically, they, it has to meet a little weight requirement for me. Like it can't be too heavy. Um, it can't be something that I can't carry in a pair of shorts. Uh, it can't be something that is so thick and wide like that Alienware DX2, which is a very nice knife. It just takes up too much space. Or even my Grimsmo Norseman. Uh, some of those knives can take up a little bit too much real estate in the pocket. So I've just went through my collection, my personal collection, and I found five knives that I personally feel are fairly EDC pocket friendly. So without any further ado, let's meet up down at the counter and we'll talk about what knives in my collection I feel meet that criteria. So I've got five of them and one honorable mention. All right, guys, so this is the selection of Kniffs that I have got here. So in no particular order, there is one knife that I will point out that I think is probably the most pocket-friendly knife of the five, but in no particular order, you have the Ferrum Forge Gent, the Ferrum Forge Buck, the, as much as I hate to admit it, Benchmade 940, this is my Franken 40, the Artisan Cutlery CJRB Rhea, and the Monterey Bay Knives EWC, designed by Ray Laconico. So these are all really, really nice knives and pocket friendly. So the things, the criteria that I look at are how friendly is the pocket clip in and out of pants? On all these knives, these work really well in just about any pants. Weight, um, ease of carry, all those things. So let's just go ahead and take a look and I'll, I'll let you guys know why each knife, I think, kind of fits that criteria. So the EWC, we'll just start from right to left. Um, the EWC is really light. It does not take up much space in your pocket. The pocket clip is just about perfect in all pants. It is something that is not gonna weigh your pants down. It's not gonna pull on you. And it carries really well. There's a lot of times that I will carry this knife and forget it's even in my pocket. So that's one of those things that just comes in handy. Um, it doesn't, it's not too thick. Like I said, doesn't take up too much real estate, any of those things. And it's just one of those things that like having a knife that you can carry, be able to rely on, but it's still not 
obnoxiously large. And, and just to give you a perspective, that is, th that's the EWC. This is a Cold Steel, uh, this is the Cold Steel Voyager that we talked about in a live feed not long ago. See how much bigger, I mean, this is not a horribly large knife for someone like my size, but this is so much easier in and out of pocket, easier to carry and all those things. So that's one of the first five. This probably is not gonna be a real long video, guys. This is the second one. This is the CJRB Rhea. And as you can see, nice little gentleman's carry. Does not take up too much space in your pocket. But each one of these knives, even though they're not that big and they're easy to carry, you're getting a fairly decent sized EDC out of all of these. This is a great, great knife for just about any situation. This knife, not as much every situation because this does not lock. So this one's gonna fall further down because it doesn't have a lock, but it is really pocket friendly. This knife would fit just about any situation of carry that you would need. This is a nice little gentleman's knife. It's something that is not horribly aggressive looking. It's not something that if you pull out of your pocket, people are gonna flip out because you have it. Really functional blade shape as well as this one. And it's in a size and weight that just make it great. And the fact that this one has the aftermarket titanium pocket clip, even, even better. So the next one on the list is, as much as I hate to admit, is this Benchmade 940. Now this is a larger knife in comparison to some of these others. So if you were to look, you can see here, it's a good bit larger than some of these other knives. But the fact of this is you have got a very light, very thin, pocket-friendly EDC knife that opens up to a full-size EDC. And when I say full-size, I mean this is coming in, and you guys aren't going to really be able to see it. This is coming in at just shy of 8 inches overall length. So it's just shy of 8 inches overall length, and you've got a lot of good cutting blade. Now, there are some drawbacks to a knife that is this thin because it doesn't have as much chance to thin because the blade is narrow. So your grind can't, you can't compensate for it as much with a flat grind and it's gonna be a little thicker behind the edge. But this S90V with a 400 grit edge is super aggressive and I have yet to find anything that I just can't cut with it even though it is a good bit thicker behind the edge. So that is the Benchmade 940 and I'm moving these out of the way as we do this. So the next two are Ferrum Forge Designs, and this is not just because I'm friends with Elliot and Chris, it's just because both of these knives are really pocket friendly. This one is a little bit heavier than the others, but the fact is that this sits really well in pocket. Great pocket clip, a lot like the Rhea, a lot like the same size, but what you get with this one is this has a much broader blade. So it has a much wider grind and this gets so thin behind the edge. So you're looking at a package that is a really, it's a really useful, larger Warren Cliff style, cleaver-esque style blade with a thinner handle that you still are getting a lot of good, useful blade. You've got a lot of belly and it sits in your pocket really well and it doesn't take up a lot of space. Does it take up more space than some of the others? Yes, absolutely but still nowhere near as much space as say what's in my pocket right now, which is the Grimsmo Norseman. The Norseman definitely takes up a lot more pocket real estate, even that little point there. But I mean, look how much bigger and everything. So this knife is not as small or as diminutive or as thin as the others. But when you look at what you're getting in that smaller, in that size package, it's just about it's just about one of the perfect knives of this style that I've seen. And then a knife that I truly recommend that everyone owns, it's in a video where I said that, is the Ferrum Forge Gent, which is another small, really pocket-friendly, super light EDC with a full-size blade done in, in S35VN, really well done by Wee Knife Company. And this thing, it's, this is one of those knives I could never pass up. It does have a pretty skinny pocket clip. Uh, it does have a tendency, like I've heard people complain it moves. The only complaint I've ever had about the pocket clip is this pocket clip catches um, the stitching on t-shirts and will pull it loose. That's the only issue I've ever had with it because it is a very thin pocket clip. 
super light. The action on it is great. And it is, it's one, once again, pretty much a full size EDC in a small package that is not going to bar you from taking things out of your pockets, things like that. And the nice thing about all of these knives is I can carry these knives, any one of these five knives, I can carry it and still carry another knife in my pocket if I want to. And you guys know me, I'm a weirdo. There's times that I'll have three or four knives on me. Then we come to this. This is a honorable mention because I can't not throw this one out there because this is another deceptively large knife with a really thin profile that gets you a lot of blade length and things like that in a really pocket friendly, really, really pocket friendly uh, package. So the this is the CJRB Centros by Dylan Mallory. Great knife. It's another one of those knives that's on my list of knives that just knocked it out of the park for, for 2020. So for me in, in my in, you know in mind so let's go ahead and we're going to take a look at these and i'm going to tell you right now there is one of these knives that i honestly think is your best choice for edc as a pocket friendly edc that it would be the easiest to carry every day and i'm going to tell you right now it's it's a close it's a close one between these two but the ria sorry about that guys every every once in a while the f-18s fly out of mirror mark fly over us uh, what I was saying is, I personally think of all the knives here, the Rhea is the full package for a pocket-friendly EDC. Uh, you get about as much blade, you get, you get as much blade length and usable blade as you get in the in the uh, gen, without the issues with that pocket clip being so thin and uh, standing up. That one of the things is that does stand up a little bit. This does too, but that that lowering, that ramping of it kind of bothers me. This gets you much less chance you're going to snag a t-shirt on it. It is a really attractive package. It's light. And of these two, these would be the two that I would say would be the top two. This one just kind of edges out the gent a little bit. And a lot of people is like, oh, you always, Brett, you always, you always talk about the EWC. You always talk about the EWC. And I can't say that the EWC would be my number one pick just because it doesn't lock. It is basically a slip joint. It's a double detent. It's basically a slip joint. And there's a lot of people that that's just not for them. So this one, a lot of people don't like the blade shape. And then I just, this has enough other issues with it just because the way Benchmade does things that I, I honestly think that even though this is a much pricier knife, I think the Rhea just beats it. This gets a lot more pocket time than this. And this gets a lot of pocket time. So, guys, that would be my pick for my most pocket-friendly... The, and these are just from my collection. This is my pick for the most pocket-friendly knife in my collection. And I would definitely not hesitate to recommend it to somebody that wants a smaller knife for everyday carry that's not going to break the bank and it's not going to take up a ton of space in their pocket. And it's just going to be something that you're going to love to carry. So... With that being said, guys, let's turn this around and do some final thoughts. So guys, like I said, that's five knives that I personally think are EDC friendly, pocket friendly knives that that are ones that I have had and carry. There's a lot of other ones out there. Uh, there's a lot of smaller knives and uh, I saw somebody did a video about why are knives getting smaller. Um, I'm not sure if that's a bad thing. You know, there's a lot of knives out there that are great. Like I said, I love my Norseman, but it is big. And there's times you just can't carry something like this. this is not a public friendly knife. This is not something you pull out in public because, well, people are skittish and people are sheep and they immediately think you've got a weapon. So, you know, as stupid as I may think that seems to them, it, it is the perception is reality. If you pull out a knife, you're pulling out a weapon in their opinion. So, you know, those are some of those things that are just kind of not that difficult to carry. There is another knife that I wanted to use, but I couldn't quite find it. Not all of my stuff's completely unpacked. And that is the Cold Steel Tough Light. Uh, my father got me a Cold Steel Tough Light a few years ago. That is another great pocket-friendly EDC knife. Really good if you like to carry hip pocket, because uh, it's nice and thin. But, so, that's it guys. If you want to check out the Click Spring. Uh, channel that I was talking about there will be a link in the description right you know right there I'll put a link to his channel in there 
Um, guys, if you like the content, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like the content, give it a thumbs down. I hope you like the new format and things that I'm doing. I'm trying to change some of the production quality and make it a little bit better. Not necessarily make it too refined because I do want it to be just like a bunch of friends sitting around talking about knives. But the flip side of it is I do want it to look nicer. And so I thought this would be a way to kind of do backdrops and things like that. So I say, if you like them, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but tell me why. If you really like the videos, you can give an applause, which is like just giving me a tip for a video that you really like. And if you really want to support the channel, because like I say, guys like me and Jared and, and some of the other guys that do these knife videos, we don't get a lot of ad revenue. We're not like some of the great big channels out there. Can't do this for a living. And so if you want to support us, I know Jared has Patreon. I've got memberships and Patreon. I prefer that you do the memberships. I get actually more from it. It's easier. Uh, memberships get you exclusive content, giveaways, things like that. I have the merch store that you saw past Mike mentioned, but there's also a link to my affiliate link with Ember Shirt Co. Uh, where you can purchase shirts with my affiliate link. Any of the shirts that are for sale on there, if you use my affiliate link, you actually contribute to the channel. It doesn't matter what pattern you, you purchase. So guys, please keep it clean in the comment section. I love you all and I will see you in the next video.